I'm Christine, and I'm here to show you how I got to the finished stage of this painting. So just to let you know, my reference here was a black and white photo. This gave me more leeway to choose a color palette. Then I quickly put down um, an acrylic wash so that I'm not painting on a white canvas, and I sketch right over the top of that with pencil. Then I started my flesh color, which is uh, my usual go-to for pale flesh, and that would be um, titanium white, alizarin crimson, a little bit of cadmium, and um, a touch of cobalt blue. After doing that, I started to focus on the hair, which I used a um, burnt umber and a little bit of ultramarine blue. And here, as you can see, I started putting flowers in of my choosing. I liked putting the red in to, you know, carry over the red from her lips into the flowers. And um, so I chose the colors I thought would be best. As I went on, I started picking and choosing different types of flowers than what was in the picture because I thought they didn't fit quite as well as what I was choosing. I liked using that big pink peonies in the middle as a focal point. It kind of mirrored some of the tones of her skin. And by the way, I forgot to mention, this is an all done in oils after the initial acrylic wash. Then as you can see, I finished it off with some baby's breath, put a lot of nice green foliage in there to end. I think with all the rich colors, it gave it some nice depth. If you have any questions on the color mixtures or the choices I've made here, please put it in the comments below. I plan on doing a few instructional videos where you can see me in the process of painting. So stay tuned or subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.